here we are, 3604, Esmir Milevic and Mina Man at the She Talks Why We Are the Best Event Today in This City. Word. We are here today with Natasha Ray at the She Talks Why We Are and she's gonna tell us a bit more about this big event which is if you didn't know promoted by CNN as one of the top 10 worldwide women international women's day um, events in the world and this one is happening in Surrey today so Natasha tell us something more about this event today well she talks live VR was modeled after TED talks so the whole goal is to have 17 amazing women who are going to talk not just about all the amazing things they've done but their story so as she talks we sort of see ourselves as, as creating a platform for women to share their stories so 17 women are each going to speak for eight minutes and we're here for one impactful day and how many people will have been in attendance well when i finished doing the registration or updated this morning we were at close to or just under 550 and we're going to be doing sales at the door so it's definitely surpassed what our expectations were well i think that what's great about this event is we're going to hear from a huge variety of women so politicians stay-at-home moms business owners, women who have really made it to the top in their industry. So for example, Diana Zitko has been the top 1% of mortgage brokers for the last 15 years. Then we have Jody Emery, who's really paved the way for women in the medical marijuana industry. And then we also have Jamie Coe, who is a super mom, stay at home mom, blogger, and does really amazing things. So again, huge variation in the women who are going to be here today. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you. Um, here we are with uh, former Surrey City Councillor Brenda Rasodi, one of the persons behind she talks why we are and one of the speakers um, here today so tell us a bit more about she talks why we are and what this means for our entire community and what we are going to learn today from all these amazing speakers here. Very excited, the inaugural She Talks speaking series for women. What's really important as we look at issues in the community, it's really, um, you know, adding the touch on the lens of how women perceive issues, I think is very important. Today we have a phenomenal group of speakers. Uh, Natasha Ray, the uh, founder of She Talks, um, has put together a very impressive schedule. But what I'm really encouraged by as we have 500 tickets it's sold today that this is the first in a series on Monday we will be launching she talks resources um, and we will be moving forward uh, going to communities in Toronto and Calgary and the speaker series really is just a first step in making sure that we're not only valuing the recognition and contribution of women that as we're making decisions moving forward that that perspective is uh, very loudly present um. You spoke earlier about She Talks Why We Are and you said as much as it's important to be a public person and a public official and a politician, it's much more important to be mother and a woman. Can you tell us a bit more about that? I, I think absolutely. I think one of the things on International Women's Day that I think that we have made progress on is that now when women um, identify themselves, they very proudly are able to identify themselves as mom, just like dads can identify themselves as dads. There was a time, I think, when women didn't feel comfortable uh, speaking uh, to their role of being a mom, but I think it's the most critical role in our community as we shape future leaders. Uh, and we break cycles on things like bullying and domestic abuse and teaching love and respect that in influence first starts in the home and it's a role that I'm the most proud of and it leads everything that I do and I want more mo moms to say listen I'm a mom first and this is why yeah. thank you so much thank you so tell me how you feel about this event today and how you feel about this entire celebration of um, successful women in their careers and all what they do good for our communities? <laughs> that is a very loaded question. Um, I, I do think it's very, <laughs> it's an impressive event. I, I haven't gone in yet, I've just arrived. The parking lot's full. So um, I think the community needs this. The community being professional, sophisticated, intelligent women getting together and motivating each other. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a, uh, it's refreshing and I like it. Um, Brinder and Natasha told us that 
today they're gonna have here uh, about 550 people in attendance. I saw few men, but I saw more women. Um, how important is that men start coming to events like this and start embracing and understanding that the women are very important I hate part of our men, community. Men, we're gonna burn them up. <laughs> I'm joking. That's not what we do here. <laughs> is it? <laughs> no. Uh, how important is it for men to come to the OTs event? I think it's, um, you know, I believe in knowledge. And I believe the way you gain knowledge is by exposing yourself to different views and perspectives. And so there could be a lot of benefit if men join. Or not join. But you know, um, participate. Come and listen and understand and start implementing those knowledges later. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. I think it's a evolution thing. We'll see how it goes. So we collect and distribute gently used shoes to people in developing countries. Um, <laughs> In countries like the Dominican Republic, without shoes, can't, kids can't go to school. So that's why we collect used shoes from people here. Um, we also invest in projects based on education, because we want to empower children and women around the world with education. And She Talks, uh, I mean, we're two women who founded uh, a nonprofit now, a registered nonprofit, based on a small idea that Kelly had. It was inspired from her heart and from passion. And um, so this day is really great to be able to showcase our story as women and working together and also empower and inspire others to really listen to what's inside their heart, uh, what, what their passion is, and to not let any objections or fears get in the way. Really excited, but I'm a little bit scared too, and I'll be introducing Natasha. And I'm here for She Talks, and Natasha is the founder of She Talks. and. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, we can't wait to see you up there. I know you're going to do a great job. Thank you. So I decided to have a choice. I could continue down this road and with these stories and everything going on in my head and really feeling anxious, stressed, getting wrapped up in my own life and, and forgetting about what's actually going on around me. Or I can take all these amazing things that I have in my life and take the three key things that have really helped me and help other people change their lives. And for me, I used what I've got, a loud voice and a lot of passion to spread a message. I told him it was okay to let go now. And after he took his last, last breath, I left the hospital room and I shattered to the floor like a pane of glass. And today, I am going to share my story, speak it for the first time publicly. And let me tell you, I'm scared to death once again. You see, success is more about how you think than what you know. Hello. What is uh, she talking mean to you? What brought you oh here? Oh God. No, no, no. Come here. No. Come on now. <laughs> um, inspiration. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Oh, so me? I'm here with. Oh, seriously? Oh, well, one after the other. I it was lucky. We're gonna do everybody here. Let's get the both of you together. So I'm here with Maria and Lucky. And uh, so how was how was it being up there? It was empowering. It was incredible. It was fun. It was exhilarating. And it's everything I've ever wanted to do and be. And to see Natasha turn this idea into reality is really why I started the whole Ladies Lunch Network and it's just amazing, Damon. Well, it was really inspiring to see you up there. Thank you. And Lucky, I mean, what are you, what's your thoughts on the day? I know you, why don't you tell us about your organization and a little bit about your thoughts on the day. Uh, definitely, uh, as part of Global Grow Power Movement, you already know that we have uh, an online campaign going, which we're asking women how they will make it happen or actually everybody, how they will make it happen how they will support advancement of women as well as their uh, their equality. And to see this idea right here in Surrey is amazing. I have been to tons of events in Vancouver. I think ladies here locally in Surrey really needed it. And it's a powerhouse of full feminine positive energy. Great to see men like you supporting us. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank and you, Damon, wearing red. I love it. <laughs> yes. We didn't and plan my, it. And my red glasses. And all the right. We match. The three of us in the glasses and the shirt. Yes. And all the power to all the women, embrace your uh, feminine energy, embrace yourself and just go out there, be you and uh, be strong, stay strong, it's your world, 
step up and do whatever you want. Well, we're really excited and proud of the things that you're doing, and we want to be out here to support you 120%, 200%, 500%, whatever it takes. We love you guys. Yeah, power. She talks. She's so awesome. Girl. Thank you. Let's talk to these ladies. You guys have a second here? I think yeah. it's great. I'm actually speaking this afternoon. I'll be talking about well, empowering women, but also getting, I think it's really important for women to appreciate themselves and I think, you know, like society and culture and media put too much of pressure on how women should be and an image women should carry. So I think it's really important believing in yourself from the inside. So that's kind of the message and then I'll, I'll be telling my story. Yeah. Well, we very much look forward to your speech. Thank you. I'm here with Tyler. He's the boyfriend of the of the of Natasha here, and uh, we just wanted to hear your perspective on the whole event. Well, it's been uh, it's been amazing so far. Uh, when Natasha first started uh, thinking about the event and uh, had the idea for it, uh, even she didn't know where it could go, uh, what to expect. Uh, but with the help of her advisory committee and um, and friends and family and support, and I, I had a I had a big uh, big role in it as well. I think. Sure, yeah. Um, uh, it's been it's been tremendous so far, and really really happy with the turnout and. Uh, and all the support. Yeah, well, it looks like she's done an amazing job, and I'm sure she's happy to have your support. So, good job, man. All right, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Obviously, I love the TED Talks concept in general, and I think uh, Natasha really hit on something with this one. And for people to talk about just their reality and, and their experience, because all of those experiences are extraordinary. And right. um, it's, it's fantastic. I think people need to hear sometimes from other people that, you know, yeah, life's not perfect all of the time. And it doesn't mean you don't grow from that and you don't have learnings and that you don't, uh, that you don't provide something great uh, to the world as a result. So I'm here with Diane from You Glow Girl. And she just gave a very raw, empowering speech. You know, went up there and you told your story. Uh, about your experiences, some very raw stuff. And uh, I just wanted to, first of all, thank you for doing that. I know how much courage it takes to get up and do that in front of a huge audience of people. So uh, thank you for that. You're welcome, Damien. And uh, maybe you can just tell me about how that experience was for you and uh, you know what you hope to see today here at, at She Talks. Sure. I have had the extreme pleasure of being involved in the advisory committee for the She Talks YVR event. And this event really is an amazing event because it gives women a voice a voice for change, a voice for progress, and a voice for inspiration. And my part of today, my little piece, was to try to inspire women to find their glow. And glow is found by when we embrace our broken parts and let our light shine through. So that's what I was here to do today, and the She Talks uh, Advisory Committee has been absolutely amazing, and uh, this is a really um, class act event. I'm here with my buddy Ben Dooley, he's the, the newest and the youngest member of Surrey 604, uh, and he's here covering the event with us. Uh, ben, what are your thoughts on the day? Well, I think that this is a great event, and I'm I'm surprised to see so many men out here today. Uh, it's a women's event, but that doesn't mean that men can't be here, and I'm glad to see that uh, you know men are coming out here today. If you want something, you can have it, but you have to work for it. Let us be ourselves, women, soft and strong just as we were born to be. Thank you. You can search through the universe for someone who is more deserving of your love and affection than you yourself, and that person is not to be found anywhere. You yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserves your love and affection. So stop cutting yourself down. Cut the negative self-talk. Be kind to yourself. All right, I'm here with the legendary Penny Pretty at She Talks YVR. Penny, what does She Talks mean to you? Well, I, I saw the speakers this morning and I heard what they had to say. And what it means to me is something that's really affirming or reaffirming about what women bring to this world and to the communities that we live in. As I listened to those women, they didn't all have equality of opportunity. They didn't all have equality of circumstance. And yet, deep down inside them, they found that power of that dream and found ways to make that real. And for people in the audience who are listening, I think that's an incredibly affirming thing because you can then leave the room and say, I too can do that. It's not about what I was born with. It's not about what I have. It's not about a socioeconomic or privileged group. It's about what I can do 
based on the power within me. Mina. And? Mina Man. Yeah. It's an alliteration. Hey, there you yeah. go. <laughs> She's in a walking alliteration. Yes. He's like, She's... my name is Matt. What's your name? Esmir. <laughs> Esmir. <laughs> no, say the See? whole thing. Huh? What's your Milovic. last name? Esmir Milovic. Esmir Milovic. Yes. And Mina Man. <laughs> <laughs> you go perfect. Woo!